it now! A hard shell, a whole bunch of legs, looks like a born warrior. The crab is the Onikabuto of the sea! Throw one of these bad boys in the ring and your Onikabuto will have to seriously up its game. That's right, Oni King! Technically, the crab belongs to a different species, but it has all the qualities of the perfect warrior beetle. Pitting Onikabuto against crabs during their training is a surefire way to rapidly improve their strength. Then it's time for Crimson Staff and Ironclad Beetle King to train harder than ever before. No rest until they've flipped every crab in the area onto its back. And once they're done, we'll just need to stoop down and scoop them up. No more chasing crabs all over the beach. La, 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 la. Looks like Xiangling and Guoba are part of the gang now. Uh-huh. Traveler Paimon! Fancy meeting you here! Are you guys out for a walk or something? Hey, Xiangling! Hey, Guoba! Well, we were going to gorge ourselves at one mean restaurant, but then we ran into Yanfei and Shinobu, who told us you were closed for a few days. So we figured we'd come find you guys and see if you needed any help. Huh, you guys. <laughs> Thanks for being such loyal customers. It's so kind of you to help. With Mr. Ito and the Grandmaster helping me for the last couple of days, we've actually got most of the things we need now. All that's left for us to get are some fresh crabs. And Crips and Staff and Ironclad Beetle King will be able to round them up for us in no time. If everything goes to plan. Uh-oh. I may have spoken too soon. It's a Geofishup hatchling! Go check her! Hanakata, watch out! Hold on, stay calm. I'll assess the situation. Hmm. Hard shell? Check. Legs? Not too many. But it more than makes up for that with the whole rolling thing. Yeah, looks like a mean fighter. This is what you want to train your own Ikabuto against. Uh, <clears throat> Uh, how right you are, Oni King! With a training partner like this, an Oni Kabuto is sure to reach the apex of its abilities. Uh, are they serious right now? Wait, I think I recognize that thing. It's always rolling around on a nearby island. It's made quite a reputation for itself as far as Guyun Jiu bishops go. People have taken to calling it Crystal Tornado. It's because if you ever set foot on its little island, then it whooshes over and gives you a nasty whack on the head. It's really aggressive. How did you come to learn that? Oni King, allow me to send in the troops. I shall monitor the battle from a safe distance to assess our enemy's prowess. Go, Ironclad Beetle King! Test your challenger to its limits! King! Oh, one hit and it's all over? I don't believe it. That, 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 that's not possible! Okay, listen up, Grandmaster. The glorified pet rock is clearly tougher than it looks. Time to show it what we're really made of. From what I've seen, our opponent has a lot of brute force, but no finesse. Lugging all that weight around is a recipe for crude and clumsy attacks. And if you don't land the hit, it ain't worth squat! Luckily for us, our Oni Kabuto have a little thing called agility on their side. Go, Crimson Staff! Dodge the limbs and tail, wait for an opening, and aim for the... Belly. Oni King, shall I send in some more Oni Kabuto or? Uh, I, I will. You, um, what? Wait, what's Goba doing? No! Le, 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 le. Understand Guoba? Huh. It 
just up and left. So, to answer your question from a moment ago, Paimon, I found out about Crystal Tornado's aggressive tendencies the last time we came to gather crabs in Blue Yellowstone Forest. Tornado gave Golba a big old bash on the head the moment he saw him. But then Tornado fell unconscious and apparently wasn't seen for weeks afterwards. I guess he's finally recovered from his injuries. Man, what a cool guy. I mean, I figured he was a pretty epic dude just from the look of him, but I've never seen someone just stare an enemy into submission like that. There's only one possible conclusion. This is a warrior with strength, the likes of which I've never seen before. I must say, I concur. I don't know how, but Guoba san simply commanded that hard-shelled beast to stand down and retreat at once. Come to think of it, he seems like a pro at catching crabs, too. Hmm... Guoba san clearly has some sort of power that lets him bend the minds of shelled organisms to his will. Ah! That's it! The truth has been hiding in plain sight all this time. Guoba-san is a virtuoso beetle battler. With his skills, he can direct an Oni Kabuto's each and every move. Huh? Oh, of course. Yeah, that makes total sense. <laughs> These are the kind of brainwaves that make you the Arataki Gang's greatest ally. You see, if we can get Guoba-san to teach us the art of shelled organism mind control, we'll be unstoppable. The entire beetle fighting world will be our oyster! <gasps> can we stop discussing what special powers Guoba may or may not have? We have to get these crabs back before too long or they'll go bad. And then this whole trip will have been a waste. Right! Get a move on, Bulk Checker! Shinobu's waiting for you! Also, we want to eat. Huh? Wait, wait, when did we get two new people? Oh, compadre! <laughs> if it isn't the Yoni King's right hand. Oh, and of course, the flying lavender. Uh, <clears throat> sorry. Sky cleaving white iron lavender melon. Wait. Oh, man. Don't tell me you saw me lose that beetle fight just now. Oh, so humiliating. Embarrassed about? Oni Kabuto don't stand a chance against the Geo Bishop Hatchling. Next time, just give it a couple of whacks with your club. But that would defeat the whole purpose. Uh, let me explain. Now, it's no secret that you've kicked a fair share of butt in your time. And from what I hear, that includes some of the biggest, most powerful, and meanest butt around. So, how'd you do it, huh? Were you born stronger than your most fearsome foe? No! Do you rock up to every fight believing that your odds of winning are 100%? Of course not! You start with an impossible goal, defeating the unbeatable enemy. And then you do whatever you gotta do to achieve it. Because even you can't know how much potential you have until you push yourself past your limits. That's how you make yourself not just stronger, but stronger than you ever imagined you could be. Flee the fight once, you'll probably flee the next time. And the time after that, next thing you know, you're that boring little twerp who never had the guts to put himself out there. Because when you flee the fight, all you're really running away from is the person you could have become. Uh, what's gotten into Bullchucker? He actually said something that made sense. For once, Paimon has nothing to argue back. Ugh. You hear that? Woba's getting hungry. Crystal Tornado's gone now anyway, and your Oni Kabuto won't be ready to fight again anytime soon. So, are you just gonna stand here gawking, or...? Chef Sama makes a good point. We are still far from being worthy enough to seek the tutelage of the mighty sensei, Woba-san. <laughs> I have heard tell of a great contest of fine warriors that was once held in this place. We stand on hollowed ground, and the very air we breathe is abuzz with the might of great duelists. I say we set up a ring here and now. I shall summon the mightiest beetle battlers of Liyue, and as iron sharpens iron, we will hone our skills and training with them. 
Then, and only then, will we be ready to seek the guidance of Kuobasan. Once we have learned his ways, we will track down that shelled beast and do battle against it once more. Paimon's got a... well, a feeling about this, but not actually sure if it's a good one or a bad one. Uh-huh. Oh. Oh, oh! Oh, I'm with you, Grandmaster. Yeah, you're saying the time has come to unveil the plan. This is the moment. It's time for the long-awaited Arataki Blazing Armor Beetle Battle Boot Camp. That's right. There's no time to lose, Oni King. Let's set up the arena. Hey! Hey! We weren't done talking to you yet! Ugh, unbelievable. Look at them. Not a care in the world. What did they say it was called again? The Arataki... something something? Anyway, some sort of beetle fighting tournament, right? I think Hanakado might have mentioned it before. If I wasn't so busy with work at the restaurant, I'd love to take Woba along and watch. But right now, the top priority is dealing with all these fresh crabs. Come on, let's head back! Shinobu was saying the Arataki gang came to Liyue for her classmates' reunion, right? Won't throwing an impromptu beetle-fighting competition interfere with their plans? <sighs> well, not much we can do about it except head back to Wanmin and tell Shinobu.